Jacobi. I'm out here taking a mental health day. I wasn't going to do any training talk, uh, talk, no chatter about bushcraft, camping, hiking, trail etiquette, mountain biking, nothing like that. And I stepped off the trail to take a little video of something I thought would look cool. And I got Cookie on the leash and she went around a tree and when I told her to come to me, she went the wrong way and tangled up the leash. She doesn't normally do that, but every once in a while, you know, she has a brain fart and she does that. And it's really cool because all I do is I tell her stop. And then I tell her either around or clockwise and point to the object and she'll go in the correct direction to untangle herself, which is really neat. Um, sometimes I just stand there and wait and she figures out herself how to untangle herself. I had a ferret that used to do that. He would be on a leash and would tangle himself up, like, not just around one tree, but, like, around multiple trees or the chair legs, uh, you know, in the kitchen table set. And I would just sit there and wait, and he would actually look at the leash and follow it back to untangle himself and come to me. He was brilliant as far as ferrets go. He was brilliant as far as a lot of animals go. He was very, very, very smart. It's like my sugar glider. My sugar glider was brilliant too. Arwen. I wish I could have bred her. As she was so intelligent. It was almost scary how intelligent she was for an animal with a brain like this big. Um, yeah, she was, she was very, very smart. Um, but anyways, on that note... I'm going to continue my mental health day. I hadn't planned on putting this up on YouTube either. I was just taking videos and pictures from my own head. But uh, maybe I'll put it on YouTube. I don't know. Anyway, have a good day. I probably won't talk to you again in this video. So be blessed and uh, go play with your dog. Not the tree. <laughs> you didn't have to kill the whole tree. Sorry. Smell skunk really strong. That's why cookies unleashed. <laughs> so I have something else I do actually want to say, and it's to my brother Dan. I'm so old, I don't even know how long it's been since I've actually seen you in person. Uh, it's been a while. And, uh, to those of you that don't know me and my brother, 
there's a, a huge story in the past. But, you know, we've decided we got to let that go. And, you know, I'm not really good about contacting people. Um, I just kind of always, like, take it for granted that people are there. And if I need them, or if they need me, we'll contact each other. But as I'm getting older, I'm realizing, like, you got to reach out more to people. And, uh, I've been thinking a lot about my brother Dan the last couple days. And, uh, so I text him. You know, we carried on a little conversation. And we were talking about hiking in the woods. And this is all going on while, you know, I'm on my way to the woods. And when I got here, I just thought to myself how I wish he was here so that I could get to know him again. And Dan, if you watch this video, um, I really would like to get to know you again. You know, you're my brother and it's been years and the reasons why we don't see each other are Anyway, I hope you do watch this video, and I hope it touches you too to maybe try to reconnect a little bit. And I know at COVID restrictions, it's going to be really hard because we live in different states, but maybe we can figure a way out and God will show us a way that we can reconnect a little bit. Um, I'd really like to get to know you again, and I'd like for you to get to know me. And um, maybe we can do the AT trail together. <laughs> that would be awesome, right? What a way to get to know somebody. Just hike the AT trail together. Um, anyway, I hope you're okay. And um, I hope Mom is okay too. I can't see anymore. something moving around in the woods too and my dog is not only you know you heard her bark but she just backed up in between my legs and now she's backing up behind me and wants to go the other way what's over there it's got her freaked now should I listen to my dog and go the other way or should I be the silly human and curious and go check it out? Hmm. So everybody take a vote. So it's something in that section. And I actually, the trail's like right there. But she's looking at that section. And I was thinking I'm just going to go up the trail and ignore it. But she actually stopped and planted her feet. And, um... When I told her, come on, she gave me this look like, like, are you kidding me? No. And she opened up her eyes really wide, like, I don't want to go that way. And I gave her a little tug and she wouldn't respond. So, we're going to go back the other way. We're going to go this way. Does that make you happier, Cookie? Alright, can we go this way? Can we go this way? All right. She's happy going that way. See, she's still looking back there. All right, go on. Go. She's happier now. I'm going to listen to my dog. I am curious what's over there, but just in case it's something bad, like a hungry bear, rabid raccoon, or some nut human intent on harm, I'll listen to my dog. 
So this has been a really weird walk so far. Is uh, right on the other side of the creek behind me. Some houses. They got chickens. Well, that's nothing too weird. But then my dog went over and sniffed something. Thank God she didn't touch it or bite it or lick it. She just walked up to it and sniffed it. She's really good about that. She doesn't like uh, eat like dead animals and things like that. Um, so she went sniffing it. And at first I thought it was a, you know, just a piece of wood. And I'm like, well, why is she sniffing it? And then I got a little closer and I was like, oh my God, get back, don't touch that. And she didn't, she was just sniffing it. But check this out, this is really creepy. Creepy. No other body parts around. And uh hard to see if there's any animal tracks around it because of course my dog and I walked up there and obliterated everything, but leave it. That's a good girl. It's definitely been a very creepy walk for a bird. Bit of dust right here in the middle of the trail. Poor thing. Maybe I should have stayed home today. But I felt like I really needed to get out. But he's sleeping in under there. I let you off so you could run. <laughs> go, go, go. Go, go, go. I'm not chasing you. She wants me to chase her. <laughs> go and go. This way now. Come on. No, no king of the mountain. Come on. Come on.